So, um, <clears throat> so the day at the beach, my friend Will was there, and so was a lady. This is going out to Xavier Forster Brown or Millie Bobby Brown. Now, there was a lady there who I'm pretty sure was related to the Espositos, from what I remember possibly hearing bits of that day. But she was also, if I remember correctly, the name Martinez. Now, Will It wasn't that day. There was two different days, right? There was two different days. I think there was two different days. The first day was with Will, the second time it wasn't. My sister was there, that lady was there. The point being is that whether it was one or two days with the whole kid in the, you know, who was digging the tunnel in the sand and the tunnel collapsed, you know, the point being is it's not about, you know, remembering exactly who was there or who wasn't there or, you know, which one of my sisters were there or freaking any of that shit. The woman that was there That woman, if I'm correct, that's the woman that was at the front door of that house with the log when I went through the gate and knocked at the front door to talk to the people inside the house about the log. These two incidents were very separated by lots and lots of time. You know, with all the games that are being played, and then I think about how people accused Millie Bobby Brown because that's what the girl that was there, but, you know, <clears throat> not there, told me her name was. And that's what made Xavier Forster Brown, or Xavier Brown Forster, I don't remember which name came first. That's when... It caused you to realize that something wasn't right because there was no possible way that I would have known your daughter's name since I had just met your daughter. I held Millie Bobby, what, for like, no, I didn't even, did I? No, I was about to. And then it was like, okay, not right now. And it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, but yeah, did I even hold Millie? I don't even know if I held Millie. I don't think I did because you didn't really let nobody. Uh, did I hold Millie? I think I held freaking Millie right there. You had to do something. I was. Uh, did, look, I'm not going to go into the freaking small detail on whether I held Millie Bobby or not. But the point being is that Xavier, you realized at that point when that tunnel, tunnel collapsed on that kid, that something wasn't right. 
then you saying my eyes turned, and then I'm saying your eyes turned. And yet we still had some control over all of this that was going on. Unlike so-and-so, who was at that point, you know, fucking cussing everybody out from inside of a fucking death trap that he designed himself. So, <clears throat> with all that said, digging him out of the tunnel, and then to think, like, you know, it's what happened years later, where I'm being shown the tunnel collapsing from the other part, the other perspective, the other side, the other world. And what I'm bringing this up for again is because some people just can't, con it's, it's not even a control thing, some people just can't deal with that kind of of spirituality it's you know it's a very unique very unique uh, spirituality is the only word I'm coming up with right now for the people who do know the reason I'm saying that is because it just dawned on me a little bit earlier in today that there was another person who looked very much so like Patty when she was younger. And who also looked a lot like Ari when she was younger. And my cousins and a lot of other girls. Okay? So my point being is that... You know, and it's interesting that they were able to do something as far as cloaking themselves to look like Millie Bobby. Bef Millie Bobby was just a little baby. Sitting over near you, Xavier. <clears throat> the girl would have basically resembled Millie Bobby older. Now there's another story I have of the exact same Millie Bobby. And when I say exact same, I mean the same look of what Millie would have looked like if she was my age in a younger grade. And that memory is also a very, very unique memory. Because the type of personality that Millie Bobby has was also being portrayed at that point in time. Now, what's really, really interesting is the situation that's here right now. But I'll get to that, about the names that are similar and that the situation is very, very interesting. And, you know, people that are pretty much around at this point that I've seen, and I'm saying to myself, it's like, and I've not just seen, but I felt there. So it's like, you know, what I'm saying is that the personality type doesn't fit even the new person that I just realized, well, that person I know could do things too. And as much as the person by the my old friend Will, you know, like like the jealousy thing there being like as far as this and that. Now, me and this other person who looks a lot like I just named a few different people. This person's personality was not exactly not exactly like the others when I met them with their skill set. Me and that person actually went to a uh, communion class together. Pretty little thing. Looked like Ari. This is not the person. What's interesting, though, is... 
all the times that I've been insulted over certain interesting things and the, 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 a very interesting way of being insulted is, oh, he likes the fat one. He likes the fat one. He likes the fat one. Now, I reference that mainly as a time when I met Ari without realizing Ari, you know, during, before, right before, right as of that music video that was shot. Uh, what the fuck was that? Every day. Now, physically was, I freaking, you know, was very attractive, uh, uh, attracted to this person. Um, but at the same time, there was a whole little mental mind game going on, and then it was just like, bam, and then this, and it was like, you're in, you know, it's like, it's like it never stopped. Like, in other words, like, physical attraction and this attraction. And the point being is that, you know, it's like, you know, that's one of the main times that I remember, oh, he likes the fat one. He like, and I'm like, how, how the fuck you call this girl fat? Now, that's interesting because what I'm saying is that, you know, it's, it's, it's funny that the type of personality to sit there and make a comment like, oh, he likes the fat one. He likes the fat one. Hee 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 hee. And then to think, like, all the things that have been done at this point, and I'm saying to myself, it's like, you know, with everything else said, right, you know, it's funny because that's, that's, that's going backwards, and, and I know I'm not making 100% sense because there's really nobody there talking to me, okay, and I'm trying to hold on to all this while I'm explaining to absolutely nobody other than the freaking video camera, right, there was, uh, that was shown to me in that classroom setting. With, uh, when I say that I met Millie Bobby at my age, and this is probably even before, this is probably even before I met Millie Bobby as a baby with you, Xavier, that day at the beach when the tunnel collapsed. So, and we all know about the cover-ups and the name changes and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And we all know that I've already said that, you know, one of the main people that are there, like, during, like, you know, the supposed termite queen extermination and all this other stuff, right? You know, other than, you know, Alfredo Flores, who was also aware of the log situation, along with, what, how many other hundreds of freaking, there was hundreds of freaking, there was, there had to be at least a couple hundred people that drove by, or at least close to a hundred, if not more, with the fucking AKs and the fucking submachine guns banging them against the fucking door, why, you know, I'm coming in a fucking cup, why fucking they're planning to fucking kill all my little fucking Indian children that were born out on the reserve so that they can keep the ugly ones around to make them into fucking slaves and fucking, you know, get rid of all the intelligent ones, right? So they can make them stupid. I mean, do you, you, wow, wow, man, wow, man, wow, man. You know, you know, it's like, it's like. With what I'm saying is that that might have been that situation. But as far as like the extermination of the termite queens, other than Alfredo Flores. One of the other people that showed up that day and actually got a ride to that freaking house to exterminate the <clears throat> termite queen. Was Mikey Forster. Hmm? Now, there was also Drew Smith. Or supposedly his name is Drew Smith. Black guy. Actually. <clears throat> actually. Oh, look at that. I picked it up right to the right picture, huh? So. Drew Smith. Fredo 
Raul Flores, some chick, Lynn, this, that, kind of resembles Ari. Whatever you want to consider that. Might not have even been, it might have been that other girl. That's why it's, it's interesting that, you know, I've seen, I've seen this girl and this guy on this bike a couple years ago. And I'm saying, I know that laugh. I know that person. It's funny. The reason I'm making this video, other than waking up with all the other stuff in my head, and, um, you know, if it wasn't Mikey Forster that walked past, you know, pretty fucking sure, because Mikey Forster, guess what, lives right at the fucking house where I used to see fucking, or not lives, but goes around the same freaking house where I've seen freaking, uh, Triple X before he bumped into me up at the store. But Triple X wasn't coming out of that house. Same with my other cousin. Danielle. Triple X was coming out of one of the houses back there. Behind this place. Which leads me to the next part of this. Triple X passing away right after bumping into me. Going down to Florida, getting shot by a couple black kids. And then there's Pop Smoke, which right after Pop Smoke introduced himself again for the third time to me. Right before my brother pulled the shit he pulled and the next day... I was in jail because I kicked the shit out of my brother because there was bruises on my mother's arm and I wanted answers. So <clears throat> the way that side of the spiritual world works is very, very unique that not a lot of people understand. Not a lot of people have experienced it the way that I have seen it to be. And that is because of the fact I was born with very interesting marks on my hands. That says a whole biblical prophecy, one way or another. You know... It's like, it's like I understand Mike Forster's jealousy. I do, I do, I totally do. But you know, it's like, it's like the whole time that I'm being fucking drugged out of my mind. Now, it wasn't all the time. There was probably time periods because I was able to sleep that I wasn't being hit with the drugs that they were hitting me with, which weren't drugs, they were fucking, they were poisons. Asbestos. Which brings me to the interesting part of the name Esposito and how they're dragged around into this. And as far as Martinez goes and how interesting it is that the one lady I can get on the phone, although her name is not Martinez, it's really interesting that her son's name is my very special friend, and I say that in a buddy type of way, that claims to never know nothing. So, you know, it's like, it's like, I look at this and I say to myself, it's like this whole situation and it's like, you know, of course it wasn't them during most of this, but I do find that interesting. Just like I find interesting that, <clears throat> you know, not only, you know, there's Mikey Forster, you know, there is the name Xavier, right? So Xavier, and there's about four Xaviers I've met in life, maybe five. 
But the four that I can remember right off the top of my head would be the one who was uh, actually told to me that it was one of their brothers. There was a girl that looked a whole lot like a girl that I have another picture of, but I'm not going to go through that shit. I'm surprised I actually opened up these pictures right to that fucking photo. Right to that photo. So, the point being is that, um, there was another girl that I've seen in the driveway that resembles another girl that, although that girl, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not the same family as far as like, you know, situ like lived together. I don't think that they lived together, but the point is, is there's that Xavier white boy. And then there is the Xavier I just mentioned in these stories, which is the older man who, at the time, had a Millie Bobby, white-ish girl that he called his daughter. I think I did hold Millie for like five seconds while he just quickly did something right there. Like, it was just like, just, just hold her. I was like, all right, all right, just freaking hurry up. You had to do something, get something adjusted. But the point is, is, I didn't know Millie's name. He never told me Millie's name. When I described it, that, that's why I'm saying it's like when I described the girl, all this stuff, all that stuff, I already, I already spoke about all this. That's why, that's why it's like, it's like, on track. You were jealous, Mike Forster, because you were you were in line. You didn't hate me, I didn't exactly hate you, but it was like, oh well, I have to destroy you. It's like, you know, man, it's like this is why my life has been the way it's been. Because I'm saying, you know something, with all this shit, I'm like, wow, wow, you can't take credit for all the other people that I was fighting at the same time, because I was up against the entire fucking planet, okay? Remember, one of first friends, equivalency of almost Hitler nowadays, okay? That's what they made him into. Runs a country, you know? But then I think the other Xavier was the lady in the backs. I'm saying to myself, wow. It's like the other day, I'm pretty sure that she told me what her daughter's. And I'm saying to myself, wow, this is really, 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 really interesting. So that this way, when I talk about Millie Bobby or Xavier, that it gets real confusing. So this way, they dumb me down to the point where I'm so fucking stupid, right? I forget my own name. Over the course of 20-something fucking years, as they're fucking walking me through trials and tribulations, I'm also fucking only partially myself. Who knows? What would I have done if I wasn't being drugged out of my mind? And yet, I make the right decisions, and then they find a reason for me to make to be able to say, oh, those aren't the right reasons to these people. And then they make up another set of reasons for this people, these people, and these people. And I'm not saying it was all Mikey Forster. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, I'm saying it was just the ins and outs of the bullshit, like attacking a girl, uh, Ari, by trying to attack her grandpa. 
by using me and attacking me at the same time to try to set, in other words, attacking me in a way where it looked like I was trying to set up Ari and her grandpa. With the two bodies that were over the fucking cliff, which came from the kids at the fucking workshop where my friend Anne, who I can get on the phone, her van was being held and we got into a very, very heated argument on the fact her van wasn't in the shop because I just helped change a tire on her fucking van. And she, uh, of course, argued with me that it was, and I then told her, I am about to kill you. Go fucking check on your van. And that's when she basically turned around to me and said, and when I go check on my van, and my van is there, then fucking our friendship is over, and I never want to see you again. And I said, you know something, Ann? I said, go fucking check your van, because I'm about to kill everybody here. And she went, she checked on her van. And her van was there. And when she came back, she's like, you're right. I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking right. Because that was the same day that we went out to that freaking train stop, train station all the way out in Pennsylvania, where fucking close to Centralia was, to <clears throat> exterminate a termite uh, infestation inside the train station. I was like, whatever, man, just... Let me get fucking high, you know? <clears throat> you know? See, I'm thinking Mikey Forster was there, too. I know Alfredo was there. Alfredo was definitely there. Flores. Which brings up Paul Flores and Ruben Flores. You see... Paul Flores fucked up. And then after he fucked up, he divulged his evil fucking plan of trying to set me up, set my family up, which was also his family, and a couple other families. <clears throat> Ergo, I'm pretty fucking sure the name Richardson definitely came up. And if it wasn't Richardson, Richardson, it was Nicholson. And Nicholson and Richardson were fucking related either fucking way. Wow. Yeah. Seen that going too. I should have grabbed I was like, ah, oh, don't snap it. So um yeah that's that's part of that, right? There was other names there with Paul Rubin. And I, there were so many names mentioned. There were so many people that I quickly met for a second, brief second. So it might may or may not have been them through fucking certain things that certain people are uh, able to fucking do. But what I do know, there was some real persons there. You know, it's like, it's just like, it's just like with all of the things that are said and done, it's like, I mean, tch, wow. And then this thing that may, that, that still may, may or may not be taking place or has or has not taken place, which I'm pretty sure I'm, pr I'm, I'm thinking it hasn't taken place. So let's not have it take place. Another interesting thing. With interesting people that are there. And then even those people didn't even know what the fuck they seen. Everybody was seeing something different. Meanwhile, I'm the only one that they were trying to fucking set up. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And I can barely walk 
fucking two miles without fucking having to get off my feet because there's something fucking not right with my one leg. And all the things good I did out here. Which some of them may or may not have been good. But still with the goodest intentions in mind. But then there's the bad things that took place out here. And I get blamed for that. But I get no credit for the good things. Why somebody else is getting paid. And then people question why would I have a bank account with millions of dollars in it. Because... This is why. And then I start mentioning the Indian burial ground that turned out to be a serial killer's burial ground. The fucking me almost being fucking locked in a fucking thing. You know, this is where freaking some of the things aren't exactly things I got paid for. But then there are the things like the Indian burial ground and the other things and the other things that freaking are very, very similar. Or basically stepping in when I needed to say something. When it came down to the blame falling on to the little X-Men kids. About why they didn't understand. Why they couldn't pick. They didn't understand the authorities. The authorities. Did not understand how if these kids were so special. How they couldn't think through the fucking. And see the other kids in the other classroom. And to think that, yet again, the principal who, he could have been, he could have, could have done a lot worse. You know, it's not, it's not like I even hated some of these people for the way that they thought exactly. It, it, it's, it's, it's complicated on a forgiveness level of way different proportions. Because, because, but it's in, in the end, it's like, oh, so you get mad because this happened. And then this, then you become a part of this. And then, and then it's like, you know, this is being fucking manipulated right under your fucking nose. And the person you're trying to set me up is me. You're trying to set up is me. Whoa. And then the Miley, the Miley incident. I mean, Christ, Miley, what were you, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like, that's the whole point. It's like, like, look, I don't know how the fuck that fucking thing, whole thing worked. All I know is that I was hanging out with Miley my age, close to my age, close enough to my fucking age. 